Hello and welcome. This is Double O Debbie, and this is a brand new series um, that we're going to start playing. I want to try and get a schedule going. Uh, I would like to start recording again. I haven't recorded in a while, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, anyway, I'm so excited. This is Sky Factory 4. I played this a little bit, and I really liked it. And I think this could be really amazing. So um, what I want to do is I'm going to start this world and call it Sky Factory Let's Play. This is the seed. I think it's just random. It uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess if, it, if you're playing like a normal skyblock, the biomes could matter, I guess. Um, for how you get your first animals and such and how if mobs spawn even <laughs> so that could matter but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I'm going to turn on cheats just in case something wonky happens not to actually cheat but in case something happens uh, bug in the game I might be able to fix it without you know doing that anyway let's have a look at this um, <laughs> this is a really awesome way to set up your sky factory or your sky block I really like how many choices you have over here um, but a big thing right here is prestige now this allows you to if you like set certain goals for yourself or you actually complete the sky block world you can use prestige to make it a little bit easier when you start out in and in try one of these different <laughs> worlds so this is pretty awesome I'm going to enable it I think I already have a little bit because I have played some uh, I have a little bit maybe one or two prestige I don't actually no I don't think I do <laughs> uh, anyway there is so many different worlds to choose from and I already have like the one that I want um, picked out but this is like the choices this is Sky Factory 4 this is like the what you would normally start with in a Sky Factory world um, this this mod pack is by um, oh my goodness hang on a second dark hosto normally the sky factories were done by bacon donut so i don't know if that's because this is now a feed the beast thing so they're <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but it's not bacon donut but I guess he maybe is contributing at least in the the general feel of it <laughs> this is yeah one dirt one tree and you have to stuff uh, do stuff and this is a sky factory tutorial one and then there's a really wonky looking sky grid uh, compact sky this is the one I want to do <laughs> but let's go ahead and look at all of them there's also amplified get some crazy you know world gen in there there's the default world so you could play sky factory in a default minecraft world and this could be something where the seed might be you know a little bit more relevant because you're actually playing on a world which is cool and from what I could tell there's they put a lot into this um, just having these different worlds you get different quests different achievements for each of these different worlds you play them a little bit differently than the other ones so <laughs> it's gonna be really really cool even if you you try one and you don't like it play a different one because it's gonna be like playing a completely different game um, they have large biomes 
Lost Cities, which that looks really interesting. Oh, they have a flat one. I wonder if this is like, um, I might like try to, to do this one because I don't know if you've visited my channel. Um, I do have a slime survival series that I did years ago. It was really awesome. Uh, it was like a little map though uh, where you had a few things and some chests scattered around and there were like uh, zero villages so there, you just basically built right where you were at and they had like you started off with like two villager eggs or something like that and that was how you got <laughs> that was how you got into the villagers that might be something interesting to do in just vanilla in 114 now because 114 is out and I think this is like 112 this is for 112 uh, so it's not 114 but <sighs> anyway that could be an interesting I might actually try this one too if we get through sky um, the compact sky I want to try flat because I did that before and it was pretty cool uh, and I, I'm interesting to, interested to see how different it would be from playing vanilla flat <laughs> so uh, there's uh, peace out which is basically a standard world made for a pacifist run mobs will drop not drop loot and if you kill a mob you will lose the run so that's pretty cool um this one is project e uh before when i did it uh this world wasn't even available but you have to actually buy this one with prestige in order to play it so if you notice there's a little x over here that means i can't do that yet and I don't know how many points it takes to make it, but I think once you get into the world and you have prestige enabled, you're able to look at the different costs for different things that you can buy with prestige. And then there's Sky Factory. If you start on a huge, huge tree, a stone factory, which we might try that one too, because I, I like stone vac, you know, stone block. That was pretty cool. Observatory. Uh, I watched a few of Dire Wolf's videos, and this is where the world that he took. And man, that looks so amazing. <laughs> uh, there's the Sky Village, Sea World, where you start in the sea. I, I wouldn't want to do that cleaning up water no thank you <laughs> this one's the same but with lava yeah no this is the same except with ender liquid which would teleport you around uh i guess this is like one chunk and everything surrounding it is bedrock i guess all the way up and all the way down <laughs> between bedrock and a hard place um, I'm guessing that the bottom is bedrock and the top is bedrock or something like that. I can hardly see. Rock bottom, uh, dirt tree floating over a flat world of stone blocks. Minesweeper, <laughs> dirt tree floating over a sea of TNT blocks. Lights out. Floating dirt tree with no skylight. Ouch. A sticky situation. <laughs> Instead of void, you get cobwebs. Okay, there's actually more down here. Cobbled together. Just cobblestone. Sludge. Resonant ender stuff. Uh, jellied cryotheum. Pyrothium, lava, um, water, 
<laughs> um, Chuck Norris, one oh chunk Norris. You get one chunk, one chunk world. Skylands that looks pretty cool. Material girl in a material world. Floating sky islands made of resources. Oh, oh, so these will like be gold, lapis, iron, diamonds, emerald, redstone. Jeez, look at all those. Okay, lava cake, hardcore, hardcore world with increased mob health armor and damage with permanent night and it looks like maybe is that like one of those little cloning things like in uh, crash landing that could be interesting and are you afraid of the dark which is hardcore world with no skylight so yeah this uh this is still the one i want to do this is compact sky so let's get into that um, all of those worlds look so amazing but this is the one I want to try uh, because I think it's going to be um, I don't know pretty interesting uh, tip using different character oh no take a leap of faith it's safer than you think yeah I don't think so <laughs> so apparently this one is where you start in a cube and that's what you have to work with um, I did play this just a little bit but you can't like grow a tree in a 3x3 cube because it's not big enough so they actually start you with um, this is my cube compact machine a 3x3 I think these um, other ones what is this Oh, uh, uh -huh. unused. This is weird. Um, oh, look, you can see the grid. Okay, so maybe I can take different ones. Ah, let's just go back to this. Wait, wait, no, this one, the white one. I want to take the white one. I don't know why, but I think you use this personal shrinking device and that puts us in the cube. What? Okay, so this is home <laughs> and it gives us a cake, which is to get back to the overworld. And, and it gives us um, one axe because you have to actually have a tool to harvest these guys. So you go boom. Boom. Um, not really getting a lot of sound here. Let me check my options. Yeah, I've got it normal, but these are a uh, headset might not be working very well. Um, so that's what you got to do you have to harvest those guys and you get wood you get leaves you get acorns and resin uh, you also get a chance to get um, a sapling occasionally you also get sticks too sometimes so that's good um, yeah so what you got to do what is the hot key for is there a way to look at the hot keys do controls um, I want to see what the hot key is for the prestige so I wonder is that gonna be like P for prestige Yes. Oh, and it's actually P for prestige. Okay. So let's look at that real quick. Oh, look at all of this. This is all the things you can get. Oh, what's switch background? Ooh, trippy. Um, oh man, that is awesome looking. 
Let's do this. No. Which one was it? No, I can't. I can't have it moving like that. That's too much of a distraction. And that's going to make me go cross-eyed. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. <laughs> okay, so uh, these are all the different things that you can get with Prestige. And this, like, will be available in any world that you play. So for one Prestige point, you can unlock the Hopper Bonsai. So right now we have bonsais, but they're not hopper bonsais. You have to click with them um, with the an axe in order to gather it. And this one enables ore excavation for one prestige point. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. Here's the Project E one. Oh my god! A hundred prestige points to unlock that. Unlock okay. Unlock the Project E mod costs a hundred and prestige points. And this is the Project E adventure unlocks a new world type in the world creation screen allowing a start with Project E mod. Oh, so you have to like buy that. And then I guess it becomes available as you play through the world once you unlock this. And this allows you a new world that starts with Project E. That is interesting. Oh, you have to like buy Flux Networks. Oh, smelts my heart. Oh, you have to... You have to unlock the Tinker Smeltry? Are you kidding me? I might need to go back out of this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so many things. Okay, so we know <laughs> it's going to take us a while. But I think in this 3x3 three three cube, uh, since we can't grow the trees and ore excavation would be nice, but we don't have any ores and we don't have any trees so i think i'm gonna if the first prestige point would be to get the hopper bonsai because uh, that would be awesome <laughs> okay oh i thought it would pause the world i guess it didn't awesome so let's try and check out our advancement book <gasps> This is completely different than the normal Skyblock advancement book, by the way. Uh, it just has like little check boxes, but this is a whole new thing. Okay, so we're here, Sky Factory 4, getting started. And we need starting from the bottom. Uh, we already did that one because we have uh, dirt acorns. We have two of those, so that's good. The next one we have to cook it. Uh, so we can't do that yet because we need a furnace for that. And we got a little ways to go before we can get that available. Um, so we could do this. We could get a drying rack. Um, I wonder if you can dry the acorns. So we could get a drying rack and probably a crushing tub. So, um, we are like really cramped for space. I think there's a way you can, uh, make these like half slabs. Oh yeah. Put a stick in there. You get two crafting half slabs. So we get the illusion that we're not using that block. <laughs> So there we go. And now we're going to want like a chest. Um, you know, um, let's go ahead and harvest these guys. I don't know if there's any sound, but let's go ahead and make a chest. Pretty sure the sound was working. And I think uh, you can either make a chest like that or you can do it with the half slabs like this 
Is that how it was? Oops. It is. Isn't that just adorable? I love it. Um, but I think the, <laughs> the catch to this is that it'll only hold a half a stack <laughs> of stuff instead of a full stack. Uh, so that's kind of funny. I like it. Um, let's do this and make another one. And let's see if we can get a double half slap. No? Okay, well that's interesting. Ah, I did not hear a sound for that. Um, I'm pretty sure I had everything working. Um, Oh, well, we'll worry about it next. I'll have it fixed by next episode. Uh, we don't really need the sound for anything in this. It's not like mobs are going to creep up on us or anything. So, yeah, we have a couple of chests. So, let's get some of this stuff uh, out of our inventory. Let's do a little swapperoo. Yeah, no sound. I'm pretty sure I checked it before and I thought I had sound, so I don't know what could have happened between now and then, or then and now that would have messed it up. Huh, okay, let's check out our next thing. Okay, we need the drying rack. Oh, look, we got the stop slapping yourself. We, ha we had to make one of those. Uh, we also... I don't know why we would need a hook. Um, or the captain hook. Because we don't really have the trees yet. Um, but it's something we could do. Because if we do all of the achievements in here, we're going to get a prestige point. And we really want that prestige point. Um so that we can get the hopping bonsai. Uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, so, we're still trying to get that dirt sapling too. That's gonna help us get further in. Uh, and it's pretty rare uh, to get a sapling using these. You can get them when you grow them normally, but, uh, with these, not so much. So I wonder if I chop down this drying rack, is that the same thing or is that a tool rack? It's an item rack. Uh, is that what we needed? Oh. <laughs> Give me my book back. No, no, that's an item rack. We need a drying rack. Okay, so. Well, how do you make a drying rack? Is it just the two slat, the three slabs? Awesome. We already have that. Uh, almost. So, let us make a drying rack. Now, we, we don't want to put it there because our trees actually need the two blocks there. So... Let's turn it around and put our drying rack here. Yeah? Awesome! <laughs> uh, so this is kind of cool. Um, let's try to set a goal uh, for this episode. We'll try and get that dirt sapling and then we'll call the episode. So we'll sit here um, and maybe we'll try to do the crook and the crushing tub and see and hope that we'll get um, the sapling soon. All right, so we need a crook. We can make that one super easy. Boom. Now we got a crook. And yeah, 
that's all done sweet um, and we can do the crushing tub so it would be really cool if you could like click on this or right click on it and then it would like take you to the recipe in JEI that would be awesome <laughs> uh, just to say in that would be awesome okay so let's let's let these grow and we'll harvest them no still no sapling all right um let's see we need the crushing tub let's just try to put in tub yeah there we go that's that looks like it so three slabs and two planks uh looks like we need some more planks so boom boom and boom and there's our crushing tub um are those done yeah okay so here's our crushing tub this is cool because you can put things in it like saplings and then jump up and down and get uh get different items and um sometimes different liquids as well uh, so it's pretty cool um we're not gonna need the crook so we'll just put that away uh let's see let's hope we get a sapling oh nuts okay so <laughs> we're pretty much stuck until we can get a sapling um craft a dirt block let's see if we can craft a dirt block um dirt dirt uh yeah this is what we need oh we can craft dirt blocks we just need resin and acorns that is pretty cool and uh so let's see i guess we can craft up some more dirt um yeah boom we have dirty dancing awesome <laughs> I don't think there's any other ones we can get. I wonder if I can take a piece of dirt out of uh, here and put it in the other place and grow a tree, but I think that's cheating because we're supposed to be in a 3x3 three three cube. Um, Let's look at the sapling, okay? Dirt sapling. You can get it in a cauldron. Or the bonsai tree. It's a really, it's a 5% chance. We should have gotten one by now. Honestly. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I set my goals a little bit too high. <laughs> what was I thinking getting one sapling? Um, we can't do these yet because we don't have... Uh, oh, we're supposed to get eight. Oh my goodness. We can't really um, progress any until we at least get one sapling. Come on, be a sapling. No. <laughs> no. Why? All right. Well, maybe we'll start off uh, the next episode. We'll get the dirt sapling. We'll try it a couple of more times and then we'll end the episode. If we don't get it the next couple of times, then uh, I'll just do it off camera. Uh, let them sit here and go oh man okay one more time and then I'll just do it off camera all right um, see what you got come on you can do it give me a little sapling just one 
Just one. No. No. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. Um, and we will see you next time. Uh, thank you for watching and bye-bye.